There are foods all over this wonderful country, but there were certain areas like topography, rainfall, climate change, things like that, that dictated what would grow. Here in our part of the world, we're, we're on an ancient seabed, so beneath the, the little bit of soil we have, we have limestone. But plants have evolved over time. Uh, some of them are coming from the west, some of them are coming from the east, and now we have quite a good collection here in, in southern Australia. Many Australians are now starting to farm some of these important ones, and, and so they are being conserved that way. But meanwhile, uh, there has been a good attitude by governments over time to preserve some of the land, put them down as national parks and conservation parks. So we've still got a very good sample of wild foods. For the local Burundig Aborigines, this was a very highly sought after fruit in the winter months or early summer, um, which was called Norle to them. This bush is also known as currant bush or bearded heath. This is the golden wattle, or as the local Aborigines knew it as, Nullawat. They used to pick it green sometimes, extract the green seeds and steam them, that was most important, and eat them as we would eat a green pea today. But mostly they would wait till the pods mature and produce a black seed. They would then use a pestle, for a better word, and they would grind it up. This is a ground cover plant, and then known as a kunzia, but for the indigenous people it was called munta. These plants here were known as murnat, and murnat, we know it as a bulrush, and they would chew at this part, and also they actually loved the roots. And then when finished, they've taken all the sustenance out, they would dry the fibre and use it for making different little mats and things like that, or their local string. This is, was known as kina, and it was a very popular succulent plant that grows wild on the southeast coast. In my hand here I have what we call a green called wild spinach. You just need to steam them or blanch them, um, and then they're quite useful as a, as a warm vegetable. This is what we call river mint, and it's a delightful herb to use just for, for dressing and things like that. Here we have another plant called what we call wild celery and again can be chopped up and used within salads as much as wild parsley. Another plant is what we know commonly as samphire. Again it's a lovely salad plant uh, that was utilised and nibbled at also by the local Aborigines. There's a whole range of flavours um, which we're just really starting to understand now. But the big thing is for the populace to start using some of these, we have to introduce them to them. There's nothing more Australian than something that's been growing here for thousands of years. Um, that's the most important thing. This is um, some beautiful kangaroo. Um, in our restaurant, we, we serve this, uh, I guess it's just a staple main course. We've got some native spice in there, so we've got some mountain pepper, which is a native ingredient, which is Tasmania lanceolata, um, which is a beautiful pepper. It's quite um, a eucalyptus in flavor. Um, so we've chargrilled the, the actual kangaroo itself. And we've then dusted it in this pepper. But one of the beautiful things we've got down here is this little, I guess, green called uh, it's native rosemary, or coastal rosemary. Now this, you can't eat, but you can smoke with, and it's absolutely stunning. And so I've got a little smoke mix here. But I've got native rosemary, some tea leaf, some sugar, and also some rice. So that would be in there for about four to five minutes. So I'm adding some, just some real basic bits to it at the moment. But the flavor's all there from the smoke and also from the spice rub. This is really just a little garnish of the coastal salt bush. Some of this crunchy bower spinach. And then finally, some of our sea celery, or as we like to call it in Soul Projects, the coastal parsley, because it looks a lot like your flat leaf parsley. So here we have our native spice kangaroo with coastal herbs, I guess what we call kangaroo salad.